Good morning. It's a Saturday. I'm just Good catching morning. up. Good morning. Good morning. It's a Saturday. I'm just catching up on Love Island with my cup of tea. And Aidan's made a little fort while I made it for him yesterday. Coffee? Coffee? And he's just having a little bit of um. Yeah, he got a new water bottle. Um, he's just having a little bit of screen time. We've uh, basically just woke up, so he's not allowed to watch my phone when he's eating breakfast. And yeah, it's gonna be a long day. It's raining outside. This little one's gonna go to his dad's. I'm gonna go meet my friend for lunch. So yeah. What are you coming with me again? For lunch. Edna, show them your house. Go inside. How do you get inside? It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Hello. Where are you going with you? Again. We're going to Mexican. What? Do you want to come? No. It's, I want to go because I want to play big, big party again. Okay then, bit of an upgrade isn't it when I was younger, I used to use cardboard boxes but yesterday I went out and I bought this kind of like builder den kit and you can buy more kits and build a bigger den but this one's actually still quite big, he can actually sleep in it. So I'm ready, I'm going to go meet my friend today for lunch, I'm going to go to um, Westfield, the um, Stratford one and today's weather is so weird because it's really warm outside but it's raining as well so it feels really muggy and my uh, weather on my phone is saying that it's 17 degrees but actually it feels about 24 or 25 it's really weird today and um, what I'm wearing is something really casual I've just got black skinny jeans on these have got like little rips in the knees um, booties are back out because it's raining outside and yeah <laughs> need to put up my feet I've got a plain black t-shirt on this necklace which is really old and I've got this um, linen kind of like a beige blazer on. I got it in a sour sale for about £40 and it's got like a tortoise shell button which I really like and I really like the length of it because it like covers my bum but it doesn't look too long. Um, a lot of my blazers end up looking too short or too long so this is just like a nice length. For my jewellery as always, Monica Finida rings, Daniel Wellington watch. I've got my chiffon share bag today because I'm going to be carrying quite a lot of things and I need to buy a few things. So instead of taking a shopping bag, I'm just going to take a bigger handbag and put it all in there. And yeah, my makeup's just how I would normally do it. Um, I'm sure you've seen tutorials before and then my earrings I've had so many questions about these earrings on my Instagram these are from Sarah but I did get them in the sale so I'm not sure if you can even get them anymore probably not because it would have been last season but yeah like oh my hair is just like sticking to my neck it's so muggy <laughs> but anyways yeah I'm ready and I'm gonna go guys I've just come to Oxford to meet my friend uh, Belle in quite a long time um, so we thought we'd just come here and have some nice lunch we are at um, Westfield Stratford and it's actually it's not too busy is it, for Saturday I think the lower ground is always really busy but the rest is fine <laughs> Our food's just arrived. We have um, tortilla chips, fish, mushroom. I don't know what that is. Um, crab and chicken, salsa, guacamole. You got the okay. Just come into our kit and they have so many different colours of the phasias. These are actually really nice, they're like a metallic pink colour. I have the uh, the ones that are not here but I do want another pair because they're so comfy. I also really like this colour as well which is like a burgundy and a navy colour. These are actually, I don't think they're the same as Manx, mine are the V10s, mine are these ones. So more like a trainer style. But I do really want another pair and they have so many nice shoes as well here. These look nice. Come into and other stories and um, they have a couple of new blush colours 
This one is so pretty. It's actually coming out pink on camera, but it's actually more of a orange. It's like a really bright corally orange colour. That is really pretty. That looks really nice. And then I have this corally one. I've never tried one of their blushes before, but I have seen other people use them and they actually look really good. So this is one of the new colours as well. And also they have all of those colours. This one looks really nice. It's like a peachy colour. It's called Mandarin Sorbet. I might pick up um, one of the blushes and I thought that looks like a nice contouring colour. We're just walking around, uh, Belle's tying her shoelace, so nearly got run over. Um, we're just walking around Westfield for a little bit and then I'm going to go home because I've got quite a lot of stuff to do. I just bought a top from Sarah. It's a really pretty top, but the queue was so long and I'm like hot and sweating just from queuing up. But now we're going to go downstairs to Kiehl's. Yes, we are. Um, we're going to go to Kiehl's because Belle needs some sunscreen and I just need to go to Boots. So, it's not a lot. This must be completely new because I never knew that Westfield had an ours. Let's go in. Oh my god, I just got home. It actually took me just under an hour to get home, which is crazy. This is why I never go to Westfield on a Saturday. Never mind Westfield, I don't even go out on a Saturday normally. <laughs> it's just too long, there's so many cars and especially if you come back around 5 or 6 p.m. It's literally just, oh my gosh, like, I don't want to do that again. From now on, um, weekends, I am staying in. <laughs> um, I went to Morphe. Is it Morphe or is it Morph? Um, and I got some makeup brushes. I'm just going to quickly show you guys before I um, go and wash them. I got three makeup brushes. Um, they're actually really cheap. I didn't realise. I knew that Morphe was quite inexpensive, but I didn't realise how cheap they were. Um, I think I have like two brushes from, from them and I really like their brushes. So um, let's have a look at the receipt. Like all of these brushes, the most expensive one was £4.50. So that would be this one. I got a blending fluff brush and this is the 218. Um, I'm going to use this for highlighter but I'm going to give it a good wash first. So before I wash it. I'll show you guys. So this is 218. It's like a fluff brush and it's quite small so I like that it can be quite precise and it's a little bit bent. Can you see it's bending towards this side? I think I just need to give it a good wash to reshape it. So that one was actually 218. That was £3.50. Come on guys, that is really cheap and it's actually really good quality as well. Even like basic drugstore makeup brushes are more than £3.50. And then I've got this one. This is a tiny crease blender brush. This is 5 for 6 2 This one was the most expensive one. This was um, £4.50. And I got this for my makeup kit. I don't think I would use it on myself. But I would use it on my brides. Because sometimes my brides have quite small eyelids or quite... Um, like not much crease area so this is really nice and precise if you want to fake a crease or just get into the crease in general and then this one was four pounds this is the 160 and it says a angle liner brush which is good because like I said a lot of my brides don't like heavy eyeliner so it's really important to have a really small eyeliner brush to do really fine like simple lines so yeah i've got these brushes all free for 12 pounds and i'll link these in the information box in case you want to get go in case you want to buy the exact same ones and you didn't quite get the numbers when i was reading them out but 12 pounds oh my gosh yeah i'm gonna go wash them now um didn't buy anything else i've got some eyelashes um i get the demi wispies i have normally a pack of five and they just do my makeup kit but yeah i what am i gonna do i'm just gonna chill tonight i need to sleep early because i need to be up at half past three i need to leave at half past four so i normally like i said before give myself an hour to get myself ready and just pack things and that so i might be going to sleep at about nine tonight i think about half past eight nine <gasps> 
do you want? What do you want? Oh, <laughs> so fluffy, like a teddy bear. Good morning, guys. It is currently half past four, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just currently off to a job. So weird because before I used to come home at half past four um, from nights out and now I'm already up and awake and going to work. Crazy times, um, yeah, a bit tired. It's not even sunrise yet, it's pitch black outside, which is why I've had to switch this light on. Um, and my watch is five minutes slow, so that's no good. Hey guys, so I'm home now. It's about half past nine and I'm not actually that tired. I think because when I'm up, then I'm up. So I'm gonna make myself some food. I've got quite a lot to do today. Aiden's den is still there. Like I didn't tidy it when he left yesterday because uh, I, I just couldn't be bothered. So I'm gonna tidy that up and I have washing to do, laundry. I'm also being um, working on a campaign with Pan 10 so I need to shoot the content today because it needs to be sent off tomorrow um, on Monday morning so yeah that's what I'm gonna do chill day staying at home not going out for the rest of the day good job and um, what I've realized I was doing was when I buy meat to cook I used to only cook what I wanted so like if I bought a pack of mince then I would only cook one portion and then the rest of the me i would put back into the fridge but what i've realized is it's better if i cook the whole entire meat content and save it for another day and that way i don't really waste food because what i was doing was i would cook one meal and then i would put the meat back into the fridge and then that meat would then go off because i didn't cook it again for like another two days and then that would go in a bin so instead of doing that and wasting food and now cook in batches so now i'm gonna make some gluten-free spaghetti and i actually already have like turkey mince bolognese already ready in the fridge so that's gonna be quick and easy i've just made this really quick spaghetti gluten-free spaghetti and the turkey mince bolognese and i've also put some sriracha sauce in when cooking it so it's a little bit spicy and now i'm just watching a uh, girl's trip never seen this before got my green tea happy days I bought this really pretty top from Sava on Sunday and it was £30 but what I've just realised is when I went to try it on one of the buttons is missing so I'm going to have to take it back and swap it for a new one or maybe get a different one because I feel like the buttons on this blouse just aren't done very well they're like really really loose but I do really like this top it's so so pretty I actually have my hair in this little cute ponytail today well it's not a pony but I just tied the top section up so that it's not as heavy it's really warm today it is 26 degrees so yeah I also have an order to pick up from Topshop because it was my birthday last week Topshop sent me a voucher and was like here like have 20% off so being the person that I am I was like okay let me buy something and I need to go pick up that order um today because it's ready and also i think there's a spider living in my mirror because i clean it all the time but every time i come down and get into my car there's like a new spider web on both my mirrors so i'm not sure what to do it's been through the car wash it's been through like the hand car wash and everything maybe i need to like oh i don't know like what do i do what are you meant to do hey Dan, yeah. can you read the menu what are you doing do you want to sit on your top this guy is so particular. Is that better? Yeah? What's on the menu? What do you want? I want... <laughs> Hello? You want two? Yeah. Just one? <laughs> I did say you can have two, didn't I? <laughs> Mummy's only playing. Come on then, let's go play. Aiden's been watching Cantonese Peppa Pig. It's honestly the cutest oh. thing ever. <laughs> What's wrong? What is, what is the, 
Okay. It's fine, you can sort it out after your dinner, okay? Good morning guys, um, it's really early, it's like 9 o'clock um, My eye bags, I've just got my brows on and put a bit of lip tint on the colour um, lip balm so it's a really casual day today I just dropped Aiden off at nursery so he's going to be there all day um, so I'm just going to like catch up on stuff and get shit done um, but I quickly have come to Home Bargains which is about a 15 minute drive I don't really have a Home Bargain near me um, but last night I am such that person i follow a group on facebook and it's called extreme coupon extreme bargains and couponing um so it's basically people posting bargains and things that they've found and last night someone this was before i was gonna go to sleep um someone posted that they found the foot peeling socks you know the ones that you put on like a sock and then seven days later your foot peels um, so as soon as I saw that you reminded me that I needed some because the last pair that I used was like a few months ago and now that it's summer um, I should really go get a pedicure in a salon but sometimes I just don't have the time or patience for it so um, yeah I was like okay I need some of these socks so this morning as soon as I dropped Aiden off from nursery I was like I'm gonna drive 15 minutes to home bargains um, to search for these socks and realistically i could have just gone on to amazon i'm an amazon prime customer so i could have got it tomorrow i could have just gone on amazon and bought a pair but actually the ones in home bargains are a lot cheaper and um i had a look on amazon last night and they're like about nine pounds for a two pack and there's lots of different brands but then the one that this lady posted from home bargains um she said that it worked really well so it's a like legit review um amazon reviews i'm not sure if i trust them or not because i know that a lot of people get paid to do the reviews on amazon and people because i actually know someone who does that and like they receive the product and then they get it for free and in return they have to leave a review uh, like a positive one so i'm not sure if i 100 percent trust amazon reviews um so i was just like let me just come to home bargains and get the one that she used so that's what i'm doing and next door there's like a retail park and there's like clark's max and spencer's um what else is there clark's max and spencer's pret so I'm going to go get a coffee as well. It's quarter past nine and also my nails. Look at these two nails. I'm not giving you the fingers, guys, but look at these nails. They're so bad. This one has completely snapped off. These two have completely snapped off, but then half of the nail has actually come off as well. So what I need to do is, I don't know if I, if I want to go to the salon because they feel quite weak. And when you go to the salon to remove these nails, they literally like drill them down and they've already been drilled i just spat they've already been drilled because when i had my sns put on they like file it down a bit so it's not as smooth so they've already been drilled i don't know if i want my nails being drilled again and i have some acetone at home so i might just take them off myself i'd rather have a bumpy nail than a drilled down weak af nail flora is one pound 99 here which is really cheap so gotta get me some saflora because i am actually out of it so i've got the summer breeze one here are all of the masks there's actually quite a lot there's face masks um what else is there there's foot masks hand masks face masks um i think i'm gonna get this one what's the difference argan oil oh honey and almond Oh, this one is also a foot mask and so is this one and they're all 89p so I think I'm gonna get a variety and then just just decide which one works better this is a charcoal detox facial mask well you know I'm not sure about facial masks um, being that inexpensive I'm not sure if I want to like test test it on my skin just in case I have a reaction but foot masks are okay Okay guys, so a bit of a fail, 
<laughs> because as I was um, paying, I realized um, I picked up two packs of foot packs in then one hand pack. And what I realized was it said 20 minutes and I was like, hang on a sec. The peeling foot masks, you need to leave them on for one to two hours. And this is 20 minutes. So then I was just like, oh, these are just like moisturizing foot packs. They're not the peeling foot packs. So I'm just like, okay, fine. I still have them because the 89p and if they're gonna give my feet a good moisture, um, I could like just use a, a stone to remove dead skin myself and then put one of these on so that it's nice and moisturized for now and I was like okay I still need to go on Amazon and buy um, the foot peeling masks but I did buy other stuff so the trip wasn't a waste of time I got trusty Sephora because I'm at the end of my last bottle I got some doggy bags um, these are just um, coffees poo bags and I found a minky like honestly I've been to so many like savers um, pound stretcher to try and find this and I've never found it and I've always watched Miss Hinch use it on her Instagram stories and I've just never found one but there was actually quite a lot and you could see who were the people who was watching Miss Hinch because you could see that they were just like they had a list and then they had a basket and then they had all of the cleaning products and they were all going mad for this they were basically like just grabbing them so yeah and I also got this lamb scale remover from Sif never seen this before I've seen some of their like stainless steel and all of the other products but I've never seen a lime scale one so I'm going to give this a go I also found these hair clips um they're matte black I'm not sure if that's coming across on camera because it's covered by plastic but these were 59p and look um the matte black so I thought that's quite nice for you know just having as hair styling pieces along with like pearls and gold hair clips and whatnot and it's 49p for five clips so it's like 10p each um, I've got a feeling they're gonna scratch really easily though um, but it's like what can you expect so yeah that is my little home baggins haul Oh my god, so I'm home now and I just got caught in the rain and I have a really shit immune system. Like if I get caught in the rain, even just like a little bit, I get ill and already I got caught in the rain maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour ago. Like it was really windy and it was like proper raining and I had my hood up but still I was cold and I got wet and I can feel it come in like... I think I'm going to have a hot shower and then it's only 10.45, I've got a bit of stuff to do and then yeah, I need to wait for the purse man as well because I'm waiting for a parcel which I need to do the content so oh, fingers crossed I don't get out but I'm going to finish the vlog here guys so I'll see you in my next one, bye guys!